The U.S. president says he's prepared to meet his Iranian counterpart Hassan Rouhani with no preconditions. Trump made his comments during a news conference alongside the visiting Italian Prime Minister Giuseppe Conte. The U.S. withdrew from the landmark Iran nuclear deal in May, with Trump dismissing it as the worst deal ever. Last week, Rouhani warned that conflict with Iran would be the mother of all wars. Trump responded, saying if Iran continued to threaten the U.S., it would suffer consequences, the likes of which few throughout history have ever suffered before. So I believe in meeting. I would certainly meet with Iran if they wanted to meet. I don't know that they're ready yet. They're having a hard time right now. But I ended the Iran deal. It was a ridiculous deal. I do believe that they will probably end up wanting to meet. And I'm ready to meet anytime they want to. And I don't do that from strength or from weakness. I think it's an appropriate thing to do. If we could uh, work something out that's meaningful, not the waste of paper that the other deal was, I would certainly be willing to meet. No preconditions. No. They want to meet, I'll meet. Anytime they want. Anytime they want. It's good for the country, good for them, good for us, and good for the world. No preconditions. If they want to meet, I'll meet. For more on this, Iranian affairs analyst Camelia Ante Kabifar joins us now from London. Camelia, first of all, do you think this meeting has any chance of going ahead given all the hostility recently? Uh, there is an opportunity uh, offered to Iranian authority by President Trump and express a need from the Americans and the Iranian vote, but mainly there is a need for the Iranian, an urgent need for the Iranian to make up the relation with the United States before the country enter to a huge crisis. Iran has been facing lots of economical hardship and problem. Uh, the prices of the local currency against the dollar collapse in daily and hour basis, and we are less than a week having until President Trump's economical sanctions implemented. And this crisis, which has been seen in the forecast, has been worrying Iranian authority and also is not good for, for President Trump and the allies in the, uh, in the region to see this crisis can drag all the Middle Eastern country uh, to a confrontation between Iran and the U.S. As President Trump said, this is a right time and unconditional, which is interesting. Previously, President President Trump set 12 conditions for the Iranian uh, to speak with them when he withdraw from the nuclear deal. But today, without any condition, he wants to talk to them. This is an opportunity for the Iranians if they will stop having, insisting about what they were looking for in the region as a meddling and interfering in the other countries and sit down with President Trump to talk about the people's uh, demands and also Iranian rights. Um, so that this is the right time if they want to size the opportunity. And do you think that Tehran will make it easy for Trump? He's ripped up the nuclear deal, talked about a possible war. Will Tehran have any preconditions? Um, Iran's condition, um, it's based on asking President Trump to commit itself back to the nuclear deal, which is already for Trump is over. But for Trump, perhaps, before implementing those sanctions next week and the following sanction in November on Iran oil industry can justify, can justify in front of the uh, Western allies, which has been asked Iranian to talk with the United States and Iran rejected, for example. Uh, but still, I can see this traveling back and forth, shuttling of the foreign minister of Oman in Washington, D.C., and his talk with uh, James Mattis, the defense secretary, and his coming up travel to Tehran this Friday, all elaborating Iran's interest for, for having talk with the United States. Um, and um, it's possible, but we are not so much sure. It uh, depends on Iran's supreme leader and Iran, the revolutionary guards, how far can open the hands of Hassan Rouhani to can conduct such a talks. Uh, but uh, we were hearing Iran every day, people asking for demonstration. Today, 6 p.m., people call for uh, gathering at any corners and square in the countries. And there, there is an urgent need for the regime uh, in, in order to be safe to open up with the United States, even from the back channel. And we'll see if this meeting, if it eventually happens, is a first step in that direction. Thank you so much, Camelia Entehabifard, for joining us from London.